Hello dear students, in trick number 248, today I am going to discuss a very very important method for solving a quadratic equation. Now this method is the method of square completion. Students find it a bit difficult to understand this method. So I am going to narrate the step by step procedure for solving these two quadratic equations. The first quadratic equation which I have taken is 2x square plus 9x minus 5. Now let us uh, do the first step for solving this. The first step is to transfer the constant term. Here the constant term is minus 5. Just shift this constant term to the right hand side. So it becomes plus 5. Likewise, in this equation, we will take both of them simultaneously to save time. See, 6x square minus 7x, you have equal to 0 here in the question. Minus 3 shifts to that side becomes plus 3. So, the first step is to shift the constant term on the RHS. After having done so, just have a look at the coefficient of x square. Now, see the coefficient of x square is 2. Here the coefficient of x square is 6. So what we need to do is to make the coefficient of x square as 1. So for that we divide throughout by the coefficient of x square. Now the coefficient of x square here is 2. So we have to divide this obtained equation throughout by the coefficient of x square that is 2. So what happens when we divide the entire equation by 2? Here 2 vanishes. It, this will become x square. Here 9 cannot be divided by 2. So we will have a 2 in the denominator. And again 5 cannot be divided by 2. So we will have a 2 in the denominator. Here the coefficient of x square is 6. So we need to divide the entire equation by 6. So dividing by 6. Here 6 vanishes, so it becomes x square. 7 cannot be divided by 6, so 7 by 6. And 3 can be divided by 6, so if you get 3 upon 6, that is 1 upon 2. So I have written this in lowest form. Now, after having made the coefficient of x square as 1, the next step is very very important. Now this is the step where the students get stuck in. So understand this step in a easy manner. Just have a look at the coefficient of x here. Coefficient of x here is 9 by 2. Forget about this sign. It can be positive or it can be negative. You have to just see the coefficient numerical value of the coefficient of x. So the coefficient of x is 9 upon 2. So this coefficient of x has to be multiplied by half. This gives us 9 upon 4 and just square this we obtain 9 upon 4 whole square. Likewise here in this you have the coefficient of x as 7 upon 6. If you multiply this by half you get 7 upon 12 and just square this you get 7 upon 10 12 whole square. Now this term 9 upon 4 whole square has to be added on both sides of this obtained equation. So what I'll do is I uh, rub, off, rub this off, I'll write it again when I solve this. So what you do is x square plus 9 upon 2x, these are the two terms already there and we have obtained 9 upon 4 whole square. So this 9 upon 4 whole square will come in the LHS and also in the RHS. So I have added half the coefficient of x and squared it and then added to both the LHS and RHS of the equation. In doing so, this th these three terms, now here we have a square of x, here we have the square of 9 by 4. So we have a square plus b square and this term automatically becomes 2ab. So a square plus 2ab plus b square 
this becomes a plus b whole square so a plus b whole square now see we have completed the square that is why this method is known as method of square completion so in the rhs now we can solve it 5 upon 2 plus 81 upon 16 so 5 upon 2 plus 81 upon 16 take the lcm as 16 so 8 5 the 40 plus 81 you get 121 by 16 121 by 16 now see you have a square here so if you remove the square the other side will come in the square root sign and if you remove the square root sign your answer will be in plus minus 121 root is 11 and root of 16 is 4 now you have two parts of the question x plus 9 by 4 is either equal to positive 11 by 4 or x plus 9 by 4 is equal to negative 11 by 4 so since it is a quadratic equation degree 2 you have two solutions so these two parts will give you the required solutions 11 upon 4 minus 9 upon 4 that is your answer is 2 upon 4 1 by 2 and on the other side you have x is equal to minus 11 by 4 minus 9 upon 4 so that is minus 20 upon 4 so minus 5 so here you have your solutions x is either 1 by 2 or x is minus 5 now let us apply these steps here also so here what we obtained was 7 by 6 so this 7 by 6 multiplied by half this is 7 by 12 and square it you have to add this factor on both sides so x square minus 7 upon 6 x plus i am adding 7 upon 12 whole square on the lhs and on the rhs also i add the same term so here now again the square of x is there and the square of 7 by 12 is there and the middle term the sign of the middle term is negative so i have to put a negative sign in between here it was positive the middle term was positive so a plus b whole square middle term is negative so a minus b whole square and just saw the remaining part 49 by 144 so 1 by 2 plus 49 by 144 you can solve it 1 by 2 plus 49 by 144 lcm is 144 so 72 plus 49 again 121 so this is 121 by 144 now if you remove the square sign again the rhs will come in square root and if you remove the square root answer will be in plus minus 121 becomes 11 and 144 becomes 12 now again there are two parts either the lhs is equal to the positive 11 by 12 or the lhs is equal to the negative 11 by 12 so here the x comes out to be 7 by 12 plus 11 by 12 here x comes out to be 7 by 12 minus 11 by 12 so your final answer will obtain from here x is equal to this is 18 by 12 which we cancel out by 6 becomes 3 upon 2 and in this case it is minus 4 upon 12 so minus 1 by 3 so here is the solution of your quadratic equation and this completes our method of square completion a very important method for board examinations and through a practice of 10 minutes taking 5 or 6 questions of this type you can easily get used to these steps and remember the third step where we have to add a term on both sides this is very important so for more videos important for board examinations keep watching the channel and subscribe the videos if you like it